Tonight, we are going to witness the most anticipated match in the history of professional wrestling for the heavyweight championship of the world. What's up everyone, your boy Tapesh Kumar here and today we'll be discussing about the technical differences between the Boeing 737 and the Airbus A320. So first thing, the aircraft that we're comparing. So today we'll be comparing the Boeing 737-800 winglet versus the Airbus A320-200 shocklet. Also we'll make this comparison a little interesting. So for every category, we will award 2 points to the winner, 1 point if it's a draw and 0 points in case the aircraft will lose. So stay tuned till the end, I will also be telling you the prices of each aircraft, how much does the 737 and how much does the 320 actually cost and also we will be comparing the total points and then we will find out who the winner was. So let's start with some basics. Ke First category is range, aircraft can fly with a full load. So 737 does 4000 nautical miles, 320 does 3300 nautical miles. So the winner for this category is 737. Next we have speed. Aircraft kitni tez fly kar sakta hai. So the speed for a Boeing 737 is 340 knots which is your indicated air speed and in terms of Mach number it is decimal 82. For a 320 your maximum speed is 350 knots and the Mach number speed is the same at the decimal 82. So this category goes to the 320. Next we have the maximum altitude. Airplanes kitne high fly kar sakte hain. 737 ki maximum altitude certified by Boeing is 41,000 feet. For the Airbus A320, the maximum altitude certified is 39,100 feet. Next we have maximum numbers. Maximum numbers. Next we have maximum number of passengers that the airplane can carry. 737 maximum it can carry is 189 passengers. Airbus 320 maximum it can carry is 180, 180 passengers. So this category again goes to Boeing. Next we have length, how long the airplanes are. So the 737 is 39.5 meters in length, whereas the Airbus is 37 decimal 57 meters. So the 737 is longer as compared to the Airbus. So we'll give this to the Boeing. Next up we have height of the aircraft. So from the ground to the highest point of the aircraft, wo height kitni hai, which is basically the top of the tail of the aircraft. So for the Boeing 737, the height is 12 decimal 6 meters. For the A320, the height is 11 decimal 76 meters. So the 737 is slightly taller than the 320. Now we come to fuselage width which is basically the diameter of the fuselage. Fuselage is the part of the aircraft where the cockpit and where the passengers sit. That part, the diameter of that part is known as the fuselage width. And this is a very important factor when it comes to space inside the cabin and space inside the cockpit. So the Boeing 737 has a fuselage width of 3.76 meters, whereas 320 is 3.95 meters. So 320 is wider. So that's why 320 feels more spacious and there's more space in the cabin and the cockpit. So this one goes to the 320. So now let's talk about the engines. Both aircraft have almost similar engines. Uh, 737 pe there's only one option which is the CFM 56-7 engines. A320 pe we have two options. One is the CFM 56-5 engines and the other one is the IAE V2500 engines. Now what matters is not the name but the amount of thrust that these engines produce. So the maximum thrust produced by a Boeing 737 engine is 27,300 pounds of thrust. Maximum thrust produced by a 320 engine is 27,000 pounds of thrust. So this one goes to the 737. Next is climb performance. So how well does the aircraft climb? So during climb you are moving forward and you are going upward. So you're using a lot of the, pretty much all of the aircraft's engine power which is available. So climb ke time mein, for some reason, 320 really lags behind. Like for, I don't know why, but uh, 320 ka climb performance is like really poor when compared to the 737. 737 on the other hand has really amazing climb performance and the aircraft climbs like a rocket. So the climb performance again goes to the Boeing 737. Next up is the maximum weight that the aircraft can take off and land with. So the maximum takeoff weight for the Boeing 737 is 79,015 kgs. The maximum takeoff weight for the 320 is 78,000 kgs. So this goes to the 737. So next category is the maximum landing weight. 
so this is the maximum weight with which you can land the aircraft on the runway and uh, the maximum weight for the 737 is 66,360 kgs for the 320 it is 66,000 kgs so the 737 can land a little heavier so the next thing is the cockpit of the aircraft now 737 cockpit I think yoga, but that is not the best place to be. The cockpit is very cringed in the sense it's very small. There's not enough space to move around. You cannot stand someone who's as tall as me. You can't even stand straight in the cockpit. And there's not just enough space. It's not very convenient. So personally, I would much rather prefer the cockpit of the 320, which is very spacious, which is very well designed. The placement of the panels, placement of the switches, everything is pretty much perfect. Your seats are electronically adjustable. On the Boeing, you have mechanical seats. So, matlab, wo danda kicho aur fir aage piche se dhakka do, tabhi seat aage piche move karti hai. Airbus, like a modern car, has electrically adjustable seats. So, these very small things, but they make a huge difference to your convenience. So in terms of cockpit design and cockpit comfort, I would give it to the Airbus 320. So next up is the screens we have in the cockpit. So most of our flying is done by looking at those screens. They show you different kinds of information, engine information, flight information, navigation information primarily. So all that information is something you have to see. And for some reason, the screens on the 320, they're very tiny. So, and also the presentation of information on the 320 screens is not all that great. It's very, as compared to the 737, it has bigger screens, the display of the information is a lot more clearer, it's a lot more pronounced and a lot more comfortable to look at. So in terms of cockpit displays and presentation of information on those displays, I would give it to the 737. Okay, next is the best part about the Airbus. The simply the best part about the Airbus is that tray that comes out. Matlab, that tray is the most epic thing you can have on an aircraft and a 320 has that tray 737 is nothing in it in it and eat a in terms of tray it goes to the Airbus A320 okay so the next topic is a very debatable one and it is looks how do the aircraft look when you look at them from the outside now this is very debatable and very subjective but for me personally, I think the 737 looks a lot better than the 320. 320 is like a rounded small dolphin. 737 looks a little more aggressive, it's a little more pointy towards the front. And the whole design is a little more pleasing to the eyes for me of a 737 as compared to a 320. So I would give the looks thing to the 737. Okay, last but certainly nowhere near the least is the price of these aircrafts. So the 737 has a list price of, wait for it, 98 million dollars, which when converted to Indian rupees is approximately about 660 crore rupees. The 320 has a list price of, drum roll, 101 million dollars which when converted to Indian rupees is approximately about 700 crores. So each of these airplanes are extremely costly. 737 is slightly cheaper and 320 is a little costlier, but damn, they're expensive. All right, so now for the result, the 737 managed to score a very healthy 24 points. A320 scored a kind of weak eight points. So we have our winner, the Boeing 737 wins by a huge, huge margin. And well, that's about it for this video guys. If you enjoyed it, please do subscribe to the channel, give it a thumbs up and tell me your thoughts in the comments below. And I'll see you guys in the next one.